It is okay not to be okay. Well, what does this mean? So many times when a person is going through grief. Grief is a deep word, but for those that is either going through grief or knows grief, they understand its meaning. But for those that has never been through grief, it is a word that cannot necessarily be emotionally and articulately expressed when one is going through it. It is okay to not to be okay. What does this mean? So many times when people are going through things that is the loss of a child or a parent, but in this case, a child. For those on the outside, we have a tendency to ask the almost asinine question, how are you feeling? And a lot of times a person who was going through grief cannot really express emotionally how they feel because they really have never been taught to feel. Now what I mean by being taught to feel is a lot of times in the midst of grief there's multitudes of emotions and feelings that is taking place and it cannot always be compartmentalized and therefore a person can't even begin to articulate what they're feeling sometimes a, a person who's going through grief can be happy in one moment sad in another moment crying in another moment and even anger in another moment remorse in another moment and all of these different feelings can be like a salad being tossed up so by the time they can even try to express their feelings of anger all of a sudden a feeling of guilt can show up and and by the time they try to show with the feelings of guilt then that slight hand of depression may show up guilt is a very complex set of feelings and emotions that unless you've been there it is hard to explain When we deal with tragedy, when we deal with a loss that for the most is incomprehensible, the loss of a child while the parent remains can make the parent have survivor's guilt. Because we never phantom, we never want to believe that we as a parent deserve to live longer than the very child we birth into this world. We search all kinds of biblical and scriptural texts to try to get a rational understanding behind such tragedies and traumas, but the more we search, the little we can find, but we know that we have to face the realities of such tragedies. Now, while I think for the people on the outside, it is something that we cannot put a time limit on, nor can we impose our wheels as to the length of time a person should and should not be in grief. Now, by no means of imagination am I saying that I am a psychologist or a psychiatrist or a social worker. I don't make those claims. But I do make those claims as far as feeling what you need to feel. For emotions is energy and motion, and so many times we got to let that motion come out. Whether you seek personal help, prayer help, 
crying or just talking out everything you feel without feeling guilty as to the feelings that you have because that's all they are is just feelings. It is the list of memories that we have of the ones that we lost and the pains and the happiness and the sorrows and the joys. As I stated earlier in this video, grief is a, such a complex word and, and the feelings of grief is deep. So I say, if you are in grief, it is okay not to be okay. It is okay to tell somebody, I'm not okay. It is okay to tell somebody, today I just want to be alone and just handle me not being okay. And it is okay not to be okay. Give yourself a break. If you're not happy today, give yourself a break and allow you not to be happy today. If you're just feeling in a uh moment, give yourself a break and feel the uh moment. You know, we ask a simple question. Hey, how you doing? Well, if you're not doing okay today, it's okay to say, huh, I'm not doing okay today. Huh, I'm just not in the best of happiest moods. And, and those who receive that in truth should not be trying to impose their happiness on you or their joy on you or their positive motivations on you. Especially if you didn't ask for. I know we have a tendency to want to impose our will or our time schedule or our feelings, our super holy scriptures and words. This is a short message. It's okay to not be okay. So just know. As long as you can accept not being okay, it just means talking out your not okay moment or even seeking professional help for your not okay moment, then it is okay not to be okay. This is Uncle Stu, the old man on the